Hello everybody, my name is Mariam and welcome to my first Inkscape tutorial. As you know, I'm very fan with vector graphics and I was teaching you quick design space tutorials. We already finished so far uh, 10 tutorials. We covered all the basics and from the last two tutorials, we started doing intermediate levels like the 3D butterflies and the layers. So now I think it's the time to start learning another software along with the Cricut Design Space. So I will definitely continue doing um, Cricut Design Space tutorials, but I really, really can't wait to teach you another one, um, which is totally different thing. Inkscape is a very professional software. There are many um, softwares are available in the market, like Adobe Illustrator and other software. Now, why did I decide to go ahead with Inkscape? Because simply Inkscape is an open source program. It's not a free trial software. It is a full version. It's free, provides user community with solid usable product. And it has very powerful free design tools, flexible drawing tools, and hand drawings tool, broad file format compatibility. I can save my files as SVG, as PNG, a powerful text tool, busier spiral curves. I can even draw with my stylus on the laptop, on the screen of Inkscape. And it is just incredible. Like it, you can design anything and save it as SVG file and then upload it on Cricut Design Space software if you have Cricut machine or on the Silhouette program if you have Silhouette machine or any cutting machine in general. And that's my target to design stuff for cutting machines like a mandala, rolled flowers and beautiful things. I will show it to you at the end as some examples. And simply, if you want to be a professional graphic designer, you need um, a professional software and Inkscape will provide you with everything you need. Now, you need to know that Inkscape is actually released under general public license, which means it's a free to use, free to distribute. Um, for any purpose you need, so uh, either personal or commercial use without any restriction. So I'm very excited for this stage and let's get started and download Inkscape. Um, so simply you need to go to your browser and write Inkscape and you select the first option which should come up with Inkscape.org but I will also add the link for this website in the description of my video. Please be sure you download this program from the official website. Now, when you go to download, there are um, several options. If you want to go to the latest development version, you will be able to see all the old versions. You are more than welcome to download um, a specific one you need, but we are going today to download the current one, so the current version. Now, the Inkscape runs on Linux, Windows, and Mac. And so far, it's not um, running on mobile or tablet. So when we go to download current version, um, Windows, that's my operating system, 64-bit or 32. Mine is 64-bit. So which format? I'm going to select the EXE format. And once you click on it, it should start downloading. If it doesn't, then click here and you will be able to start the download. Okay, now we go to the download on our computer and then we click next and then I agree and then next again and then next and then next again and install. It will take a few moments to install. That's okay, it's a big software. And once it's done, we click finish and then it will open. Okay, so this is how it looks like when we open the Inkscape for the first time. Yours may look a little bit different because I played in the setting of the viewing and I'll show you how you do that. Um, so number one, if you want to make your icons larger like mine, you simply need to go to edit on the top menu and go down to preferences interface and theming and be sure that the three options here are large icons remember and once you do x you need to actually close your inkscape and open it again so it reflects the changes you made um, if you don't like the rectangle in the middle um, that's representing the canvas 
Of course, you can design outside that canvas or inside. It's distracting me, so I don't prefer it. So if you don't like it, you click file on the top and go down to document properties and simply you'll find here um, show page border. You simply need to untick it and it disappears. But if you prefer it, then you keep it. And by default, it's A4 size, but you can change it to anything you like, like let's say A2. Um, you can leave it portrait or landscape. You can also control the width and the height of the page or changing the unit. And then you see those three dots. You simply click on that one to close that dialog. Amazing. I want to show you the last thing before we close um, also this tutorial. This is just a simple example for things that I made in um, Inkscape. How amazing it is. You can um, make nice flowers, rolled flowers. Um, you can make logos. You can trace bitmaps. This one made from just tracing a normal image for palm tree. I made my own logo, which I use it for um, my social media. Those hearts, I drew it with my stylus on the screen, um, on the laptop. Um, nice scattering, um, text along the path and many, many amazing things, splitting the names with different colors. We will learn heaps of things together. We'll have a lot of fun and I can't wait um, to teach you more stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you in next tutorial.